Hey everybody, it is your boy and 7 here, and welcome to a my review of Fire Emblem Heroes. So this is actually the very first mobile game that I'm going to be reviewing. Now, I know some people might be thinking, oh, you're not reviewing Three Hopes yet? Well, I haven't finished it yet, or at least the Scarlet Blaze round, because that's what I'm playing right now. I'm getting pretty close to the end of it, but that review will happen at a later date. <laughs> Sorry, so accept this in its place. For now, that is. Now, this is the very first mobile game that I'm reviewing on this channel as far as I can remember, so I am going to review this game in a, a bit of a different sense. I'll be more willing to some things, because you got to keep in mind, mobile games and console games are two completely different camps, so while some things may apply to console games, other stuff applies to mobile games, and you'll figure that out pretty soon when I start reviewing stuff. So. Let's get into reviewing the stuff. Starting off with the presentation. So this is basically Fire Emblem, but mobile. Also a bit of a, also some gotcha in there as well. But Nintendo's done some gotcha stuff as well. I mean, Mario Kart Tour. Need I say anything more? <laughs> but it's not the worst thing in Heroes because you can get the game for free and have plenty to work with. And it's quite good, honestly. I mean, yeah, some people may not like the whole gotcha aspect, but it's not like you have to pay money in order to actually play the game. But we'll get more into that later. And visually speaking, the game's pretty good. It goes for more of a chibi style with the overworld battles as they have these little chibis of all the characters. But then when you're actually in an actual segment of the battle, they actually use actual new created art specifically for heroes for whatever hero you're using, which I really like. A lot of them are really well artfully drawn and re look really, really nice. Like, really, really good. And honestly, there's not really too much to say. It looks good for my phone. <laughs> not much else to say on that front. So, what about the story? Now, I don't. I really didn't pay attention to the story, if I'm going to be completely honest. I mean, there is one. I assume, like, a war is going on. You aid one side of the war. Like, one side of the war and in defeating the other side of the war and that's kind of it because that's kind of fire emblem fire emblem's about war honestly i didn't really care too much mostly because it's a mobile game i don't want a really compelling story honestly i know some people may want a better story from the game but given this is a mobile game it doesn't need it this is the kind of game that i'm going to be playing every now and then like Say I'm in a bathroom break during work. Say I'm on the bus to my other to my work. Or say I'm on the toilet. <laughs> Seriously, I'm sure some people play the game occasionally while on the potty. And I don't really need a big story or a compelling crazy story. I don't really care. What it care what I care about is the actual gameplay and whether or not it's fun or not. And is it fun? Well, yes. It is definitely more simple than that of other Fire Emblem games, but for, again, a mobile game, it's pretty solid, honestly. You drag units around on the battlefield, and you drag them into other enemies so that way they can actually fight and whatnot. Clear all enemies, you get a win, and move on to the next one. That's pretty much how it is. There's multiple chapters in the game, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of battles. Don't even have to pay money, and you just get pretty much access to, like, well, definitely enough battles for at least a while, because I'm not even close to done with all the battles, and I play the game pretty much every single day, at least some point within the day. And not to say that I'm playing the game like like when I could be playing a console game, but still, there's a lot of battles, <laughs> simply put. And I think the gameplay is overall quite fun. Now, I did mention before that the, there is the gotcha stuff, because essentially, you do have to summon heroes, and... Unfortunately, some of it comes down to gotcha, because if you want to get some of the really good looking or really special heroes, you're going to have to spend a lot of orbs. You see, you use orbs most commonly to summon new heroes, and, well, some of these special heroes only go off, like, on a 3% chance, so that's how they get you. But to be honest, even without spending any money, I got a lot of 5 stars, so... I don't really feel like it's that big of an issue. You you do it long enough and you'll eventually get it. And if you don't get it, well, hey, it's not the end of the world. I mean, it's really just the 
it, it's really just another character in this mobile game. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It's just kind of whatever. But I don't really think it's too bad, at the very least. So, gameplay-wise, pretty solid, honestly. And control-wise, it controls fine. I mentioned that before. Now, moving on to content. I've mentioned again, this game is free. And I'm going to be honest, if you have not played a Fire Emblem game, this honestly might be the best place to start. I'll get more into this at the end of the review. But I really feel like content-wise, this game really does a good job, especially for beginner Fire Emblem players, as well as more experienced ones as well. So, it kind of appeals to everyone. So, content-wise, complete plus, considering that it's free. So, it doesn't even really need much content in the first place, but it outdid itself. And now, moving on to the music. The music in the game is pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the most amazing soundtrack ever, but it's solid. I like the main theme of the game, I like the menu theme, and I like some of the Battlefield themes. That's kind of it. Music's pretty good, but I wouldn't say it's anything, the mo it's not the best that we've seen. But, eh, that's what I think. And now moving on to my final thoughts on this. I did go over some stuff relatively quickly, but that's because it's a mobile game. And to be honest, there isn't really that much to say about it. And while there is a lot more to this game that I haven't even described in this review, honestly, I haven't bothered with most of that stuff, mostly because I just do the normal battles and occasionally some other stuff like summoning. But honestly, I say it's pretty good, honestly. If you are new to Fire Emblem or haven't even played any of the games yet, I could easily recommend this game because it's free, it's on your phone, which everyone, so you can basically download it really easily. And you get access to quite a good amount of stuff. You get enough access to figure out whether or not the gameplay is fit for you. If you like the gameplay of Heroes, then you're bound to like the gameplay in, in the other mainline Fire Emblem games. It also gets you introduced to a much wider cast of characters. Now, to be fair, I would also recommend for people to go play Three Houses if they haven't played that yet. But, to, but the thing is, Three Houses only introduces you to one cast of characters when there's like 16 mainline entries, so... I almost would say Heroes does a better job of introducing you. It introduces you to more characters from more games, making it more likely that you'll play more games in the series, so... <laughs> it's kind of a win-win situation. And honestly, that's all I really have to say. In, in regards of it being a mobile game, it's pretty solid. So on my scale of 0 to 10, I give Fire Emblem Heroes a solid 8.5 out of 10. Now to be fair, I know some people might think that I'm ranking it quite high, but you gotta keep in mind, I'm ranking it based on it being a mobile game. I'm not putting this up against console games like Fire Emblem Three Houses or the newly released Three Hopes, because they're completely different camps. As a mobile game, Three Fire Emblem Heroes gets a solid 8.5 out of 10. And honestly, again, I heavily recommend it if you want to try it out. Like, Or maybe if you're like me before, where it's like, you want to get into the series, but you're not really sure whether or not you're going to like the gameplay. This is a great place for you to start. In my opinion. <laughs> we'll see if people agree with this, though, because I'm not entirely sure, because everyone seems to hate on everything, so... We'll see how many people agree with me in the comments section, but only time will tell. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed, please consider hitting the like button. I've, I'm going to be getting a Three Hopes review out sometime in July. I, it's, I've got other stuff going on. I, a lot going on. I've been switching jobs this week, and that's kind of why this video is going to be going up pretty late, because I had training earlier today, and... Lots of stuff's been happening, I don't have nearly as much time, I'm practically working almost double time at both my, per my like, soon-to-be done job and my other job, so it's like, new one, it's, it's a lot, and then there's college work on top of that for summer class, so, don't be surprised if I don't upload a lot within the next week or so, because I've been kind of bloated lately, honestly, but... Hey, it'll only be like this for a while. And I also have to work on that one hour long DDLC mod as well, so, yeah. But, that being said, thank you guys for watching the video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this game in the comments below. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, please subscribe. But, I'm not telling you what to do, but I suggest you should subscribe, because I think my content is pretty good. Even if I do ramble on quite a bit, I hope you enjoy my ramblings even if they're not always the most consistent i 
I like making these videos. They're not meant to be perfect, but hey, I make them for fun, and that's really what YouTube should be at the end of the day. I, I need to stop. So, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Take care. Let me end sign off from this incredibly long outro. Have a good day.